Hello everyone. Today our topic is mixed numbers and improper fractions. What is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole. A fraction is less than a whole number. Think of a bag which is full of sand. Half of the bag of sand is less than a whole bag. Half of a bag is just a part or a fraction of the whole bag. Objective. To know how to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa. Steps to success. Convert. To change from one form to another form. That is from the empty ground to a park. Mixed number. A whole number and a proper fraction. You can see that one, one upon four. Then improper fraction. A fraction larger than one whole. The numerator is larger than the denominator. Note, if the numerator and the denominator both are equal is also an improper fraction. We will deal more with fractions whose numerator is greater than the denominator. That is 9 upon 5 where you can see the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Improper fractions. A fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator. They are big headed. You can see two squares where all are shaded. So eight part is shaded. So the next part means one square. It has only four pieces. So we write it as eight upon four or eight over four or we can call it eight divided by four. Write the improper fraction. You can see the squares which is spl uh, equally split into four pieces. So your improper fractions numerator will be how many shaded parts do we have in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So your numerator will be 7. And the denominator, how many parts has each whole been split into? Each whole is split into four parts, right? So your answer will be 7, which is shaded, upon 4, where each whole being split into. Then, I write the improper fraction. So we have some figures here, same identical figures, which are split into two pieces. That is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 11. 11 of these pieces are shaded. So your numerator, how many parts do we have in total? In shaded part do we have in total? That is 11. And the denominator, how many parts has each whole been split into? Our answer is 11 upon 2. Mixed numbers. A mixed number has a part that is a whole and a part that is a proper fraction. They are a bit mixed up. You can see this. The whole thing is shaded. The second one, three parts are shaded. Is it? So we will write it as 1, 3 upon 4. Write the mixed number. How many holes are there? They are 1, 2 and 3. The second one. How many fractions or parts are there in each triangle there are two parts is it so in that you can see the third one only one part is shaded out of two so you will write this as three as a whole and one is shaded out of two is it three and a half or three one upon two I write the mixed number how many holes are there one and two you can see these two squares which is fully shaded and the third one only two parts are shaded how many fraction parts are there is it so this can be written as 2 2 upon 3 change an improper fraction to a mixed number can you change the improper fraction to a mixed number yes you can see this 4 upon 3 use a diagram to help you so this full that is a whole is shaded and in the next whole, actually, 1 is shaded. So, this can be written as 1, 1 upon 3. Convert the improper fraction to a mixed number. So, again, you can use this diagram to help you. 
5 upon 2 is your question. They ask you to write it into a mixed number. So, 2 is a whole. So, 2 and the second one, 1 is shared. So, 1 upon 2. Change a mixed number to improper fraction. The figure is given. The answer is given. Okay. This is a mixed number. But they ask you to change it to an improper fraction. When we talk about improper fraction, the first step is to be followed like this. Multiply the whole number by the denominator. The whole number is 2 and the denominator of that fraction is 2. So, 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. Keep it aside and step 2. Add your answer to the numerator. The numerator which is given here is 1. So, the answer which you got previously was 4. So, 4 plus 1 is 5. Step 3. Put that number on top of the denominator. When you put that at the top of the denominator of your answer, you have 5 as your numerator. And the denominator always stays the same. You will keep the 2 as it is. So, 2, 1 over 2 or 2 and a half is equal to 5 upon 2 or 5 divided by 2 or 5 over 2. These are the steps to be followed to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction. Now, convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. You can see the figures given to you. It's a pentagon five-sided figure. One, two, three, four, five. It's split equally. And first two whole uh, pentagons are already shaded. So, it's two here. And the third pentagon, uh, only two of the parts is shaded out of five pieces. So, it will be two upon five. They ask you to convert this mixed number to improper fraction. When we talk about mixed number, what we do here? 5, the denominator, multiplied by the whole number. So, 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. Keep that answer. That answer should be added with the numerator. So, 10 plus 2, that is 12. And you keep the denominator as it is. So, your answer will be 12 upon 5. Thank you.